yeah now we are on question 11 question 11 this is another familiar question and item 11 refers to the following information on a description of three sets p prime numbers and q is odd numbers you know the prime numbers are two three five and so on then we also have the odd numbers the odd numbers start from one then we have three we have five and so on then we also have the even numbers you can start from zero or two it is 17 so 2 4 6 and so on so this is enough for us to answer this question we are supposed to determine which of the following set is empty so if you look at set Q which is the set of odd numbers and set R which is the set of even numbers you don't have any intersection so Q intersection R set Q intersection R will be equal to a null set will be equal to a null set an empty set so the correct answer is D we have this number 12 if the cardinality of set A is 14 and that of B is 15 and that of A intersection B is 6 then the cardinality of A union B is what? so we know that the cardinality of A union B A union B is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus their intersection the cardinality of A intersection B so now this will be equal to we have 14 here 14 then we have 15 then we have the intersection which is 6 so all this will give us, you know, this will be 29 minus 6 and that will be equal to 23. So the correct choice is option C. Now address which cost $180. So this is $180. Sorry for the thing not being clear. So $180 and it's being sold this is sold it's being sold it's being sold at a discount of 10 percent so this is 10 percent the amount of discount is so amount of discount is the discount rate which is 10 percent and 10 percent is the same as 10 over 100 times the price of the dress or the cost of the dress which is 180 dollars so 180 dollars 180.00 so there's a point here so let's simplify this you know 100 goes here okay let's go step by step you know this cat test for this so we are left with one here one out of ten ten will go into 180 how many times 18 times so one times 18 will be 18 dollars so the correct answer will be 18 dollars eighteen dollars which is option C a dinner at a restaurant was advertised at 60 
dollars plus eight percent tax plus eighteen percent tax. The total bill for this dinner was so we know the total bill will be the sixty dollars plus the eighteen percent of the the price of the dinner which is 18 out of 100 times 60 we are familiar with this question already so this will give you 60 dollars plus 10.8 this will give you 10.8 because you cancel this and this will cancel this you are left with 18 times 6 which is 108 over over 10 which is 10 10.8 so this will simplify to 70.8 dollars that is 70 dollars 18 8 cents 70 dollars and 8 cents so we have this 70.8 dollars the correct answer is b The cost price of a refrigerator is $1,850. So this is $1,815. Now, a buyer who is given a discount of 5% for a cash purchase will pay. So the buyer is given a discount of 5%. Therefore, we are not going to let the buyer pay 100%, but we will let him pay 100 minus 5% because the discount has to be subtracted. So 100 minus 5 out of 100 times the price of the refrigerator, which is $1,850. Thousand eight fifty dollars. Now this will be equal to ninety five ninety five times. Now let's look at something. Hundred will go here. We we'll move the decimal point back. One two. Hundred times eighteen point five. Hundred times eighteen point five. And that will be uh, 95 times 18.5, and that will be equal to the, all these are in dollars. That will be equal to 57.5757.5 so 1057.5 so the correct answer is indeed C the interest rate on a 15 year mortgage on a house Assessed at a value of four hundred and fifty thousand is five cents on every one dollar. What is the interest paid on the mortgage for the first year? So we know the interest rate is given by five cents, which is the same as five out of hundred dollars. So if every dollar you are supposed to pay five cents, then the interest paid on four hundred fifty thousand dollars we just have to multiply the rate which is five out of hundred by the mortgage amount so you know we can simplify this hundred goes here four thousand five hundred times five times forty five that will give us two to five hundred twenty two thousand five hundred so the correct answer is this twenty two thousand five hundred The simple interest. The simple interest on a sum of money invested at five percent per annum 
for three years was ninety dollars. So this is ninety ninety dollars. The sum of money invested was so we use the formula interest equal principal times the rate times the time. The sum of money invested is the same as the principal. We don't know that one. We know the interest to be ninety dollars. So we write ninety here. Then we don't know the principal, so we keep it. The rate is five percent. So five out of hundred. Then we also have the year which is three. So times three. So this will give you let's multiply this by hundred, then we get ninety nine thousand. You get nine thousand. Get nine thousand. Then we divide both side by okay nine thousand so that will give you five times three times p. So when you divide both side by five times three, p will be equal to nine thousand. P will be nine thousand over 5 times 3 we could have multiplied out but that will make the calculation complicated so let's simplify we know 3 can go here 3 times and 5 will go into 36 times 5 will go into 36 times so we are left with 600 so the answer will be six hundred dollars. The sum of money that is invested is six hundred dollars. So correct. At the end of any year, a car is worth five percent less than what it was worth at the beginning of the year. If a car was worth nine thousand five hundred in December twenty sixteen. Then its value in January 2016 was. So this question too, we're familiar with it. It's very popular. So this is how we go about it. We know the value of the car in December 2016 is 9,500. Now we should let the value of the car in January 2016 be x. Then 100 minus 5. Because we were told that it is 5% less than what it was worth at the beginning of the year. So 100 minus 5% of X will be equal to the 9500. So we can quickly solve this 95 out of 100 X equal 9500. So we flip this and multiply both sides by that. So that we can get rid of this. So when we simplify the right hand side, we get 10,000. So the correct choice is C. A television set cost $350 catch. When, when bought on high pitches, deposit of $35 is required followed by 12 monthly install payments of $30 how much is saved by paying cash so this one too we are familiar with it so the cash payment is 350 the amount paid on high pitches is 35 is the deposit plus the payment in installment now 12 times 30 is 360 360 plus 35 is 395. So take it out of 350 or take 350 out of 395 to get $45.
a month's regular pay is three dollars is three dollars per hour so this is three dollars per hour it's not clear that's why i'm reading it a month's regular pay is 13 dollars is three dollars per hour so it's three dollars per hour up to 40 hours over time is twice the payment for regular time if he was paid 216 dollars if he was paid 216 dollars how many hours of overtime did he work so how many hours of overtime did he work now first of all we need to calculate the regular pay which is three three times forty dollars three times forty and that will give us one hundred and twenty dollars so we take one twenty out of two one six dollars so two one six minus one twenty and that will be equal to that will be equal to ninety six so we need to divide 96 by double of the rate that is twice the regular payment so which is six so the number of hours work will be equal to 96 divided by two times three and that will be equal to You know, two will go here forty-eight, three will go into forty-eight sixteen times. So it's correct it's sixteen. Do not forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing.